assume that name. It is believed that that is the time the creator of the universe wants the child to come to the earth and be embraced by all. As a result of that, our forefathers have a set of names that has been set there for anyone who comes or uh, who come into the world within this uh, uh, week from Monday up to Sunday you assume one of the names if you are male or female in, 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 in Ghana or in Africa we don't have transgender no way Oh yes, I have to tell you. We don't have it. You either be a male or female. That's all. And if you are a female, even if you are twins, there are names also for twins. And those who follow twins also has a name. So everybody assume his or her name. If your parents are Christians, they will first give you a Christian name. The mental name is so powerful than the Christian name. There are some families, they don't have a Christian name. They might be a Christian, but they don't have a Christian name. They don't want it. It's, a, it's an adopted name given to people. And there are others also, their parents gave them the name, but when they grew, they decided to push that name somewhere and then uh, assume the day that they were born. <coughs> Let me give you an example. The former United Nations Secretary General, Kofi Annan. Kofi was born on Friday. The family name is Annan. So it's, he has two names, Kofi Annan, and that's all. Some people have three or four names. I have three names. I have three names. My parents were Christians. They gave me name Charles. I don't know where it came from. I was born on Tuesday, so I'm called Kobina. And then my father's name is called Abaka. Most of the people, or most people in Ghana, identify you by your father's name. That's your surname. Immediately you mention your surname, they know where you are coming from. And every name also has an appellation, especially with the accounts. Every name has an appellation. So immediately you mention the name, they know that they know the appellation that follows. After giving the child's name, it is the administrator who will announce the child's name. And then after announcing the child's name, there will be either a liquor or a soda. And this will go around, and the one who is serving you, when he comes, he will mention the child's name three times, and then he will give you the drink. You also take it, and then you also mention, uh, respond by mentioning the child's name three times and take it. The essence of this is that the child has a name, and because the child has a name, Mention the child's name, take this drink, and let it be sealed in your mind. So that in the near future, when the child grows, when you see the child, you will never forget the child's name, or you will never say, hey, who, ha, no. We say those things to an animal. Animals, we name animals. But if you want to drive an animal away, what do you say? Hi, 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 Pew. But with a human being, you don't do that. You mention that human being's name. Kwame, Kodo, Kwesi, Kobla, Yao, Ya, Efia, 
Afi, Ama. So you mention the person's name, and the person get closer to you. The final thing that they do during the naming ceremony is gifts. They shower gifts on the child and then the mother, not the father. I don't know why, but uh, uh, people don't give the father a gift. They believe that the mother has come out of a war and she's a warrior and she has won. As a result of that, we need to say thank you. We need to say well done. So they shower blessings on the mother and they shower blessings on the child. Uh, I think it's a cheating. Is that not it? <laughs> yes. Because I did not being the uh, father, the uh, child will not come. But all the same, they neglect the, child, uh, the father and then... Uh, but the essence is that they believe that the child have it, the mother doesn't have it. So why can't you help the mother and then the child? That's the reason why. And from that time, merry making, merry making, merry making. And that is the way a child is named here in Ghana. The name Kumasi, when a Konfo Anochi's mother gave birth to him, his palms were closed. So they took him to a Susia and they said, This is. The, the baby is a, a savior. He's come to save a certain type of people. So he was taken to a place known as a place on the uh, uh, a green mountain. Uh, I, I remember the name. They took him there, and then he went through the priesthood, the royal priesthood. When he, he grew up, he performed a lot of wonders. People could not understand. A lot and a lot of wonders. But Dr. Obuna, I'm shaking off in Kimura. Hi. 